officer, possession of alcohol, and uh, possession of a marijuana pipe with residue. Possession of alcohol, that's the charge regarding Debbie Hare, and that's why I'm not here to meet him. That was a separate matter, Your Honor. Okay, so that one's been resolved? We already had a trial on that one. This is another, uh, another charge. All right, so this is just the, the pipe today? No, it's the pipe and the alcohol. He had, a, he had yet another alcohol charge, so we had a trial. He was found not guilty. This is a subsequent alcohol charge just that was scheduled for trial today. December 2nd of last year? Yes. This, was, this one was not familiar with it, maybe that's why. I don't see any marking on this one that it's been, that there's been a finding on this one yet. So why don't you have a seat over there? Sir, and we'll hear what the state's evidence is about this. Go ahead, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. any objection to this being marked for identification? I saw Mr. Colson set it on the ground um, near his feet and then begin to walk away. Um, but prior to leaving, once I secured the two uh, gentlemen, Mr. Colson and the other gentleman, I seized the can separately. Um, the can is then brought back to the station and submitted into, into process. Okay, and you put, and you put a, a marking on it so that it's very it's marked so that you can identify it? Correct. And was that the ID stricken and had its marks as well? Yes, it was. Um, and uh, did you ask Mr. Colson uh, how old he was? I, at the time, I was unable to even have any conversation with him originally. Um, because of the circumstances that went fleeing the scene, it wasn't until um, backup officers arrived on the scene. I knew I recognized him, couldn't remember from where. Um, it wasn't until backup officers arrived on the scene that I was able to speak with him and identify him as Grant Colson. Okay. And did he provide his date of birth? I don't recall specifically, but once he told me who he was, I knew I've had interactions with him in the past. So I knew who he was. Stage number two. And was Mr. Colson uh, brought back to the station and processed and released? He was. 
Is there a question? Mr. Colson, any questions for the officer here, sir? Uh, did you have a breathalyzer that night? Was there ever any proof of intoxication in any way? I think I actually stated in my report that we were not intoxicated. Well, I don't believe that you actually saw what you had in my hands. It wasn't. It was already on the ground. It may have not well, been Mr. Colson, even if the state's not going to object, right now all you ought to be doing is asking questions. If you want to testify, I'll give you a chance to okay. do that. All right? Uh, no further. Anything no, else? No redirect. No. All right. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Anything further, Mr. McLaughlin? Very good. Mr. Colson, do you want to testify? Uh, yes. All right. And do you understand uh, that you have the right not to, of course, a constitutional right not to? If you give up that uh, right, though, and uh, do give your testimony here, then the state will have the right to ask you some questions. Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that your testimony here will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Mm -hmm. Have a seat, please. And you begin, sir, by stating your full name and starting your last name. Graham Colson, C O L S O N. All right. What would you like to say, sir? Uh, well, on that night in question, when you approached me, you claimed that you thought you were well, Jackson. I mean. You talked to me a little bit first, Mr. Colson. Uh, it was Officer Prince. Anything else, sir? No. Mr. McLaughlin? Did uh, so your testimony is you never held over your hand? No. Did you observe, the, uh, were you able to see when the officer approached you? Uh, I was. Okay. Were you able to, did you know when he first saw you? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. So he could have very well seen you well before you saw him, is that correct? After he sees that beer can, did you see him throw out the contents? I didn't see that in the record. Okay, no further questions. All right, sir. Thank you. You can step down. Any other evidence you want to introduce here, Mr. Colson? No. The state would just ask uh, to reopen its briefing so that they can read your arm. Back up here, if you would, please, sir. Once I got uh, backup officers on the scene, uh, was able to uh, analyze the contents, smell them, put it out, had the odor appearance of alcohol or beer. Um, it foamed on the ground. It looked of its color and consistency of beer. Okay, no further questions. Mr. Colson, any questions for the officer based on that testimony? further at this point? Um, no, I guess that'll do it. <clears throat> okay, well, based on the officer's testimony, Mr. Colson, I'm going to find that uh, the state has established its charge beyond a reasonable doubt. I'm going to make a finding of guilty. What's the state recommending on that? Uh, standard $300 fine plus a $72 penalty judgment, Your Honor. In addition, uh, I would ask that to show up for your, your trial date originally in this case. Uh, that was scheduled for May 17th. Uh, and the witness fees associated with the officer having to be here uh, is $126.43. So I'd ask that be assessed. Uh, they'd be required to reimburse the city of Keene, City of Keene Police Department, that fee uh, through those days later. And that was 
How much? That was on May 17th? Correct. All right, Mr. Colson, we'll uh, impose the mandatory fine for discharge of the first offense, a total of 372, which includes the penalty assessment. We'll also order that you pay 126.43 to the King Police Department by September 28th because of the failure to appear back on May 17th. Are you able to pay the fine today, sir? No. I'll give you until uh, September 28th to pay it as well. sitting uh, on the bench or on the, uh, the rock wall rather uh, talking on his cell phone and told me Mr. Colson and identified myself and advised him that there was an open bench warrant for him and subsequently took him into custody and arrest. Okay. And did you search an incident to arrest? I did. And did you uh, discover anything on his person? Yeah, before I even got to that point he told me he had paraphernalia um, and I identified uh, a small round pot pipe in one of his pockets which read through that Objection, Mr. Colson? No. Yes. You should have some marks of for ID of state's exhibit number one. Do you recognize that? I do. And what is it? It's the uh, the pot pipe that I took from Mr. Colson at the time of his arrest. And um, at the time that you took it, did you uh, smell it or make any observations of it? I did smell it. Stupid that he could be charged. When I identified, when I told him he was being charged with it, uh, he said he could be charged with something that he could buy for 200 years. He also made a statement uh, along the lines of, "It's 2012, and he doesn't care. Uh, who knows what he's going to do with it?" And was uh, Mr. Colson eventually uh, processed and released? He was.
Colson, any questions for the officer here? Yeah, did anyone bother you just through charging more money for something in the bottom of the store? Uh, well, I, I gather that means no questions. You can start going through the questions again. <clears throat> Colson, do you want to testify on this charge? At this point, no. Any other evidence you want to introduce here, sir? 